Hey everybody, I'm going to be testing a vast free antivirus. Um, I'm going to be using the same links that I used to test Avira. So if you want, you can compare um, this review to my Avira review and my Avira free review. And you can choose which one you prefer. Um, my reviews are not going to be completely the truth whether a product is better or not but um it can still give me an opinion and it's up to you I'm not gonna tell you which one I prefer and actually think is better but I'll let you decide um so the first part of the setup screen here um asks if you want to install Google Chrome I am not going to bother with Google Chrome. I think it's a great browser, and I prefer that this program install Google Chrome than a toolbar. Um, but I still don't really care for it when you try to install a software and it tries to force you to install something. But that's how they're going to make money. Um, and I'm fine if they want to try to make a great free product and just going to ask to install a browser, which I think is fine. Avast is about the same size as Avira. Um, the installer is 48 megabytes. And it's another pretty light security program. I find that it runs fairly flawlessly on my computer in terms of resource usage. Um, I don't use either program anymore. I don't use any program. It might sound silly, but I do not have any antivirus. I do have Malwarebytes Pro on my laptop, but that's pretty much it. Apart from Windows Firewall and I think Windows Defender might be on, but you can laugh at those programs if you want. All right, we are installed here and should be up and running in a sec. Yep, I like uh, Vast's interface and their graphics. I think it's nice. I think they put a lot of work into this program. The pay versions are also very nice and seem well refined to me. Um, I think they're great choices for security and they have... Um, I believe both of them have sandboxes, which is, I think, something that every security program should have. All right. Um, it's giving you offers for upgrades. It's not going to give you a big pop-up like Avira, but it's still going to try to push their pay versions. With the free version, you do have to register. And uh, they want you to fill out this... Um, form for free license. They don't make you pay or anything. They just want to know, I guess, who you are. So I'm just going to fill this out quickly so it's not bothering me anymore. Okay, I am registered now. Um, let's take a look through the interface here. Um, I think it's a really nice, clean interface. Uh, they have back buttons, too, if you want to get back to somewhere. Uh, on this main page, they tell you that you can turn on and off game mode if you're a gamer. Um, you can look at the details of your program to see the virus definitions the, and see what's on. This will change color if it is not operating correctly or something is not. Um... All right, this is uh, the page that will show you statistics. It's a fancy little graphic, and you need Adobe Flash Player for it. I don't really have that or it is definitely not an updated version on this computer, on this virtual machine. So I'm not going to go and install that. Um, it looks nice, and it's kind of, it moves. It's not a static statistics. All right, so here's your scan page. You get to choose whatever scans you want, or you can create a custom scan. Really nice and clean. And then you hit start for whatever one you want. You can schedule boot time scan, which is really nice if you have some nasty malware. Um, the heuristic sensitivity is pretty easy to change. You just click the button, 
uh, normal is my favorite just because it eliminates excessive false positives. Um, it has a lot of shields. The most shields that I could think of for any um, for any one uh, free program except for Komodo. Although Komodo is a little bit different in terms of their shields because they don't have mail shields and web shields and this is all stuff that you would find on a pay version. I think this free antivirus is more complete than some um, pay for antiviruses. All right, so if we look at expert settings here, um, eh, you can choose whatever you want and you can check how you want it to perform. Um, advanced actions. I like to um, hang on. All right. Um, sensitivity is normal. I'm not going to test whole files. I do want to scan for t potentially unwanted programs. Because um, sometimes iffy programs I like detected. And that's the setting I wanted to find there. And Avast does not enable that by default. The mail shield I'm not going to bother configuring because I do not have any mail programs on this computer. Um, sensitivity. I want to scan for potentially unwanted programs. The peer-to-peer -peer shield is if you use peer-to-peer -peer programs. I'm not doing any peer-to-peer -to -peer today, or I'm today, so I'm not going to change any of those settings. Uh, the network shield is uh, checking the network activity to stop any viruses that infect your system via the network. It also blocks access to known malicious websites. Um, it's not a firewall, but it checks some of the things that a firewall might check. Um, a behavior shield, so that will analyze behavior, which is great. Although I have not seen it to be um, very effective in the past. So it's not very strong, that's what I'm saying. Uh, and then you can go down to your virus chest, and you can also check the program updates in the virus definition versions. Um, mine released recently. I have nothing in the chest. And then you can see about a vest, and you can see what it their credits are and everything. So, it looks like we're all set there. I'm going to open up my malware here. I'm going to open up the internet too. And, um, gosh, I got to permanently set Google as my home page every time I uh, reset the virtual machine. It goes back to MSN, which I hate. All right, so we are going to see how this performs against these same 13 links that I tested against Avira. Um, it appears it's going to ask me later right now. I don't want to think about it. So that one kind of went through. I don't know how bad any of these are. I haven't really analyzed them or run them. Uh, in a test environment. I do know they are bad. This one is very bad. This one really caused me hell last time. And I am just going to pause this for a second to knock it off. Okay, I'm just going to run our kill here. Um, there we go. And I'm going to continue on here. Hoping that nothing else pops up. Um, I keep forgetting where I was. That's funny. All right. That one looks like, uh, oh, there we go. It detected something that got dropped into the Windows file. Um, it didn't actually. They also have this nice button. If you have a false positive, just click it if you have a false positive. 
Uh, it didn't actually pick up the file I downloaded. However, it did do a nice job picking up some rootkit or something that it was trying to drop. Um, which is fine by me, but I would prefer to get the whole thing. Ah, so it detected that website and it blocked it. I think this installer last time took literally forever to download, so I'll cancel that. I don't know what it is. Their server is stressed. All right. Um, it's aborted the connection with its web shield. Avast alerts are nice. They're rather clear. They don't give you any options. If you don't know what you're doing, it's pretty clear. It just blocked it, um, which is kind of nice. Um, it blocked... Yeah, blocked this one. It says it blocked it, so I don't think it's going to download at all. Oops, it's going to be a mess. Let's try that again. All right, it blocked that one too. The thing I like about um, web shields is that they block it before you even have a chance to try and download it. I like early detection. I'm a fan. Most only paid suites tend to have um, web shields, except for Avast. All right, that one went through. This one is the fake malware, um, fake scanner page. Blocked it. Didn't like that one. And it blocks that one too really quickly. This one caused a lot of problems last time on the machine. Three of three, you can go back and forth. So you can see each one instead of stacking them. So, um, Avast did a lot cleaner job than Avira did um, in terms of prevention. Let's see. I don't see anything running. I would truly want to check my system, though, after some of that stuff went through. Um, and I know I have that nasty rogue which was not detected, and if I scanned, it probably would not be detected still. That would need removal. But um, I think it got all except... I think it was around 4, 4 out of 13, which is not too bad. So it did a fairly decent job. Um, I just want to take a look at how much um, resources it's using. It's a little heavier than Avira, actually a good deal heavier, but it's definitely not slowing down this machine at all. And um, I tend to like Avast. I think it's a nice program, and I like the company. Um, I think it's another great free antivirus choice. It goes great with a security setup such as the Komodo Firewall with Defense Plus or um, another program like that. Or you could just use it with Sandboxy if you want something really easy. But if you're looking for a free antivirus, this is pretty much my top pick at the moment. Um, and I recommend it. So, Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to go put this review up on YouTube along with the Avira review, and hopefully you will gain something by watching them. Bye-bye.